Happy Friday to everyone today. I do want to remind you, since tomorrow is Saturday, we will not be having five minutes with Brother Curtis. So I want to encourage you to check out Proverbs chapter four, read it. Uh, hopefully you've uh, taken some papers and write down uh, every chapter of uh, people that are wise, people that are full, people that are scorners, uh, people that are simple, writing down what the Bible has to say about them as you continue through the study of the book of Proverbs. And then let me remind you as well, Make sure you read Daniel chapter six. Daniel chapter six will be our Sunday uh, lesson that I will have posted um, in the morning. So you can watch it anytime during the day. And then just reminder, make sure you tune into uh, the Pastor Moore's uh, Facebook page for his live uh, messages at uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. And again, at uh, six o'clock PM on Sunday evening. So make sure you take advantage of that as well. Well, today we find us again in Proverbs chapter 3, and today is going to be verse number 27. So let's take a look at that together. Verse number 27 says this, Withhold not good from them to whom it is due, when it is in the power of thine hand to do it. Now, there's a lot in this verse that we have to pick it out. I want to start this, the last part of the verse, then go to the first part. The, the last part says this, when it is in the power of thine hand to do it. So if something in the power of their hand, two things we notice from that, number one, uh, it's yours, okay? It's in the power of thine hand, so it's something belong to you, and if it's within your power, it's within your ability. And so the, whatever is in the power of thine hand, and then we know that uh, since we have it, it's God that gave it to us. He remind, remind you in James chapter 1, verse 17, that the Bible says every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of light. So whatever it is that we have, we have it because of the Lord. And when we are a believer, uh, God owns us. We are his. And so when he gives us something, he gives us uh, something to use to be a steward of, to take care of it for him. That's why he gives it to us. Uh, the principle is in 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10. Let me read it to you. And it says, As every man hath received the gift, even so minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God. So whenever we receive a gift, whatever it is that God gives us, we are to minister, use it one for another. And that's the principle that we're looking here today in Proverbs. And then the first part, it says, withhold not good from whom it is due. Withhold not good. That good is what's in the power of your hand. It's what God has given you. So what is it that's in the power of your hand? What is it that you possess, that you possess, that you can use it for good to others to whom it's due? Well, let, let me ask, say this. Let's think outside the box a little bit. How about this? Let's say if you have a job, okay? And so what is due to him? Hard work, isn't it? Listen, whenever you start working for someone, you give them 100% of everything you have. Put the phone, put your life support away for the day. And when you're supposed to be working, you work hard because that's good. That's due to your employer. So make sure that you do that. I think too of prayers. See, Brother Curtis, prayers, yeah. You know, there's prayer is due to other people. And they ask us to pray. So why don't we pray? We need to make sure we pray. And how about this praise? Listen, there's people that deserve praise. There's people that do a good job that we need to say thank you to. We need to say, boy, that was a good job. But why Why don't we do that? Well, a couple reasons. One's because of maybe we have pride. Maybe because we're jealous of that person. Uh, maybe because we're envious of that person, so we don't want them to get to praise. We don't want them to get to glory. We want to keep glory for ourselves. But no, if it's good, then it's due them. We might need to make sure we give them. Uh, what about to the poor? You know, there's times that people have needs, especially in the day which you live. People are going to be out of jobs, uh, a lot of things going on. And there's times when people, it might not be money they need, but it might mean they need some help doing something. And we have that ability to do it. Let's make sure we do it. Now, listen, I'm, I know there's um, 
you go on to a lot of intersections and people are holding signs. Let me remind you, the Bible says, to whom it is due. Uh, the people that are doing that, I don't know that it's due them, but there are some poor people that I know that it's due. And so those are the ones that we should uh, help out. I think of the uh, story, The Good Samaritan. Remember the Levite and the priest had went by and they passed on the other side. Here was someone uh, who, someone was supposedly supposed to be the enemies. Yet he had the ability, he had compassion on this man that was beaten and was robbed. And he took care of him. He uh he uh, wounded, took his, took his wounds and bound them up. And then he put him on his beast, the Bible says, and then took him into town, uh, took him to someone to take care of him. Then they paid him money to do it because he knew he didn't have it. Listen, that's what we're supposed to do. There was something that was due that was for him. And the Samaritan did it for him. He did that what was good. The Bible tells in Galatians chapter six, verse 10, as we have therefore opportunity let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith, especially to other believers. Listen, if there's something we can do, if there's an ability we have, let's help other people out. Let's look today. What can I do? I say, well, I'm stuck inside with my parents. You know what? Let me read you Romans 13, verse 7. It says, render therefore to all their dues, tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to whom custom, Fear to whom fear, honor to whom honor. You know what? It's in your ability as a child to honor your mom and dad. That's good. And that's what's due them. So today, why don't you honor your mom and dad? Let's look for opportunities we have to serve other people. And we just praise the Lord for it. You have a great day. I look forward to you talking to you on um, Sunday uh, by means of video. Take care. Remember, if you have any prayer requests, please let me know. I want to pray with, with that for you. And uh, just keep praying one for another. Love you guys. Have a great day. And we'll see you again on Monday morning with five minutes with Brother Curtis.